Hi, good morning, Jane here from AbFab. Um, this is our November recipe pack. So every month our members receive one of these packs and it's got a meal plan and uh, all the recipes in there. And this one is a masterpiece. It is, it is the cottage cheese breakfast bowl. Now, on first looking at that, you may think you've done cottage cheese to death, but not like this you haven't. The cottage cheese breakfast bowl. And I'm gonna run through with you and, uh, and make it. It's really, really simple, really high in protein. Um, all of our recipes have the MyFitnessPal uh, code attached there to the bottom, and it gives you a full breakdown of your macros. But I'm just gonna run through this with you and show you how I would put it together. So I'm gonna bring it a little bit closer. There we go. And the first thing on my recipe pack is 115 grams of cottage cheese. So placing my bowl on my scales and then turning on there, it's going to grab a spoon. 115 grams of cottage cheese is the first thing that I need. I think most people when looking at this recipe would think why would you put all of those things together? But actually, uh, the flavours all complement each other perfectly. So there's the cottage cheese. Let's pop that out of the way. Uh, and the next thing is, is uh, 40 grams of frozen berries. Um, now, I'm using um, raspberries, but obviously any frozen berries will do. And again, you would think that um, these wouldn't be edible, but they are, and they're very nice uh, when you have them straight and frozen. So I'm just going to um, put my scales back to zero, and I've got 40 grams in it of the berries. I'm going to place those on top. Almost there. 35. One more. 41. That's okay, that's okay. Um, so there's my frozen berries. Then two tablespoons of, of chopped walnuts. Um, right, using your teeth. So, let's move that over there. Here's my um, tablespoon measure. So I'm just going to take roughly two tablespoons about that and then chop them off. I can always re I can always remeasure them once I've chopped them. So two tablespoons oh, so I'm just roughly just roughly chopping those. here again just to see so there we go there's one check the other one perfect I won't waste the last few they would have filled the gaps if I'd have crushed them down um, and then last but by no means least is one tablespoon of honey so it's really like just a big squidge but I'm gonna pop it in my measuring measuring spoon one tablespoon of honey. Now you might find that you actually don't need this amount of honey, so you could actually cut back a little bit on that if you didn't feel that you needed it. And that is it. That is the cottage cheese breakfast bowl. Don't underestimate how lovely it is. It doesn't actually taste cheesy at all. It is so, so nice. Here we go. Mmm. So good. And bonus, it looks the same, which is always a win. Um, so check it out. I'll put the details of the uh, of the recipe below. Cottage cheese, a breakfast bowl. See ya.